What's up nerds, this week in PC gaming we got to start raiding barns in Forza Horizon 5, scouting for boys in Football Manager 22 and revisiting the past in Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy Definitive Edition. Ah shit. Here we go again. I'm Lauren Aitken for PC Gamer and this week the PC stands for Possum Content. Possums are as cute as they are terrifying. I'd like to show you my favourite possum this week. Look at that good boy! Anyway, let's talk games. November is looking pretty busy, so here are a few games you can expect to see this month. And you don't need to play Skyrim again if you don't want to. No, really, it's okay. Forza Horizon 5 comes to Xbox consoles and PC on November 9th and will be available on Game Pass Day 1. Forza games usually demonstrate the power of Xbox consoles and the latest instalment is no different. Despite my lack of enthusiasm for racing games, there's no doubting how good Forza Horizon 5 looks as you nip around Mexico as a star in your unreasonably priced car. As usual, there's a lengthy vehicle list including a range of Aston Martins, far too many BMWs and a Renault Megane. There will also be barn finds scattered across Mexico that you can claim for your own, even though it's technically illegal, isn't it? It's November, which means it's time for some sports. Coming on November 9th is Football Manager 2022, which is currently in its beta period. Some exciting new changes are coming to Football Manager for all you data management nerds out there, including pass maps, the all new data hub, and you can now set players as wide centre backs if you're operating with a back three. But let's face it, you're probably going to play a 4-2-3-1 gegenpress, aren't you? <sighs> if you were too young to enjoy Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City or San Andreas, or, like me, had a partner who wouldn't let you have a shot, then check out Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy The Definitive Edition. It's coming to all consoles and PC on November 11th, with San Andreas coming to Game Pass. The aiming and shooting controls have been updated to handle much like those in GTA 5, and the minimap's also been improved, allowing you to set your own destinations. No new content has been added as such, but it'll be nice to revisit familiar areas while we wait out the next decade for GTA 6. The League of Legends TV show Arcane comes to Netflix this weekend on November 6th. You don't need to have played thousands of hours of League to be able to understand the story, either. It's developed and produced by Riot Games, so it will be true League lore. There will be three episodes released over three weeks, and it will retell the stories of two League champions. Much like the game, it has a 14 plus rating, as it deals with some adult subject matters, but hopefully that doesn't involve people screaming down a mic at you. Netflix describes Arcana as gritty, so tune in on November 6th to find out why. This Week in PC Gaming is brought to you by the Red Suns. They are avid grand strategy players, enjoy sleeping on freshly washed clothing and screaming at closed doors. And that does it for This Week in PC Gaming. For more news, reviews and hot takes, head to PCGamer.com. I'm Lauren Aitken, I'll catch you next week.